but that's as good as it's gonna get. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Vicky, and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you miss any of my uploads. If you're interested in some of the items I've emptied out over the last few weeks, then just keep on watching. Okay, let's get on into this empties video. So first I have some laundry empties. First is this Gain Fireworks Scent Boosters. Love this. Obsessed. New staple. Would repurchase. Next here, this is the Tide Hygienic Queen. This has also been a staple for me. But because I love this Gain scent so much, I actually went and bought a um liquid detergent in this so we'll see if i will repurchase that or if i will stick with my old faithful next i have a few candles first one here is peppermint sugar cookie you guys i love this candle um crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter soft sugar cookies this candle just smells so heavenly to me love it will continue to repurchase the next one here, this is a white t-shirt. This is crisp pear, lavender cloud, soft cedar wood. This one I had in like kitchen area. It was nice. Um, not sure if I'll repurchase. I got it for 75% off. If I saw it for that, I'd probably repurchase. Um, next here I have two of these Trader Joe's salted caramel and pistachio candles couldn't smell them wouldn't repurchase i think i ended up putting these in the bathroom since they were performing so poorly for me and that's the only place i could you know barely smell them but yeah i wouldn't repurchase next here this is from um the brand citrus and cane this is like i think like play um but yeah this candle burned really high really smoky um, even though this was gifted to me, I probably wouldn't repurchase and it didn't perform that well for me either. So there's that. I wouldn't put it in the bathroom, even though I feel like it would have done better in a smaller space because the wick was burning so high. Um, I just wouldn't put that in as long because I don't want the room to start smoking up. And the last candle here is Bath and Body Works Pistachio Ice Cream. Do these have notes? This is Rosa Pistachio Frozen Almond Cream Lush Vanilla Bean. These candles smell so, so good on cold. So I picked up quite a few of them because I had some um, rewards that I wanted to get rid of. And they just were not performing in larger spaces at all. Not even like in my bedroom. So I um, have been putting these in the bathroom. Um, not really where I wanted to put them because I want to enjoy them, you know, in other areas. But I still have to say um smells good on cold doesn't perform well for me unless it's in like a really really small space so for that i would not get any more of these i still have quite a few more to go though so next let's get into this huge bag i have here and it actually doesn't seem like that much now that i'm doing this so i, I probably could have waited until the 31st but here we are. Oh, I actually forgot something. Let me go grab that right quick. Okay, so first, these are the Clorox Toilet Wand refills. I actually don't know how many of these I've gone through. I just keep forgetting to save the packaging because something like this is just so easy for me to just toss into the trash. So yeah, I have been repurchasing them. I will continue to repurchase them. Next here, this is the Hello um, Peace Out Plaque. This is mouthwash. I actually really do like this mouthwash, so I would honestly probably repurchase. Next here, I have two <laughs> of these uh, Donna's Recipe Biotin gummies. I don't know how many times I've talked about these. I didn't beat y'all overhead with these. I love these. If you're not sensitive to biotin, I highly recommend trying them if you're interested in seeing some results for your hair growing. Yeah. next here i have some black girl vitamins this is the probiotics and d3 um i found like i wasn't necessarily having a problem with them um i don't dislike them i just feel like i found a d3 pill that's very small much cheaper is like six dollars so i'm gonna go that route 
And for the probiotics, again, I didn't dislike them. Um, oh, also for the D3, I feel like using two, because the serving size is two gummies, it wasn't, I wasn't really noticing any results at all. When I started taking four, I was noticing the results, but I don't want to have to take double the dosage especially if this is supposed to be for a month so i'm essentially using it up in two weeks for the price no i can use those smaller pills that work just fine for me and i already had some capsule probiotics that aren't too big so i still like to say i like them but they're not a need for me next here i have this foam wash from l so this is for daily use and I had been have been a stand for the monostat feminine wash but ever since using this I really like this initially I didn't think like it was like doing anything different than monostat and I still don't think it's necessarily different but I feel like I just like this one better so uh, how can I properly say this okay um you know how like in the summer and you go out and it's hot and you sweat in all your crevices and there's not an odor but you just smell like you've been sweating um i had this when i was like in vegas i didn't smell like i was sweating i didn't smell like anything and okay i okay Listen, I'm not gonna get too deep in the weeds with this wash, but it has become my newest favorite feminine wash and I will continue to repurchase this. And I found this at Wegmans, so I couldn't find it in like Target or Walmart, but I was able to find this in Wegmans, so I recommend checking your local grocery store. Next here I have a few um, boxes of bar soap, if I can get them. So I have three of these Dove bars, the pink bars. Cute, like them. Y'all, I was outside earlier and forgot to buy more um, bars. I have one that I just broke out, so I don't need it like today or tomorrow. But I need to remember that I gotta go re-up on my soap. Next, I have this Dove hand soap. This is the Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla. I like it, you know, I'm not too partial to hand soaps they all you know essentially get the job done for me next here i have boardwalk vanilla cone this is my last bottle of it it was good well you know for what it was i actually really do like the scent but because i feel like i had so many of these i got tired of the scent and i'm not interested in having this back in my collection anytime soon and on top of that the hand soaps haven't there hasn't been a good enough sales price for me to want to buy them because i haven't found any at 75 percent off and i'm not gonna go on a rant on that no more um the next one here is stardust magic something spilling in here so it's sticky but yes again this scent actually was very boring to me so even if i saw this again i probably would not repurchase next here this is from native this is the sour berry belts body wash good for what it was cool wouldn't repurchase next here is powder and cotton from native again good for what it was i'm not gonna say i wouldn't repurchase i might consider repurchasing this one next here this is the olay niacinamide wash this smelled really good and i would probably repurchase that one next here this is the trader joe's brazil nut body wash again smelled really good a great it gave a great foam my skin felt nice and soft um, I do have a backup and I can't wait for this. Hopefully this comes back again so I can, cause I'll probably stockpile this. Next here, this is my Into the Night Shower Gel, y'all. This is actually one of the first shower gels I had bought once I started getting back into Bath and Body Works. So this one I've had for like two years at this point and it was still pretty full. So I'm like, you need to use it up because I'm pretty sure I had a moisturizing body wash in this scent that I've finished a while ago. So I'm like, yeah. This one, good for what it was, probably would not repurchase. Next here, this is Coconut Frosting from Philosophy. This scent to me was boring, so I would not repurchase. Next here, this is Caramel Drizzle from Philosophy. Um, This smells so good if you love a nice gourmand shower routine. 
um yes because it's big i did end up pouring and i did like bust the top a little bit as you can see trying to put it back on i ended up pouring this into the empty bath and body work shower gels i had so that i can use it because it's just too big for me to be trying to hold in the shower so yeah but i still have to say i was able to finish it and it took forever so <sighs> i'm not sure if i will repurchase anytime soon or ever and i do have like two or three other big jumbo size philosophy washes i want to get through so yeah i saw that to say nothing but i finished this i'm gonna move on next here this is victoria's secret bare vanilla smells so good it smells just like body care yeah i was layering these two in the shower so okay let me pick the bag up think i have any more washes in here this is philosophy this is praline crunch good for what it was i do have one more of these so i'm gonna enjoy that not sure if i repurchase but it does smell nice honestly the philosophy washes just aren't really doing it for me like that anymore which is probably why i'm not in a rush to repurchase any of them not saying i wouldn't repurchase them but just for right now they're just they're not really giving me a lot i feel like i always want to add something to them so yeah Next, let's get into some scrubs. First here is Velvet Coffee from Tree Hut. Good, wouldn't repurchase. I do have another one though. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. Next here is a birthday cake from Tree Hut. Again, good for what it was. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase. Next here is Blue Lagoon from Tree Hut. For me, would not repurchase. Next here is Ice Coffee from Tree Hut. This one I did really enjoy and I do have a backup to this. So I'm not sure if I would buy another one after that, but we'll see because I might grab just one more just like so I have it for next year. I don't know. Next here is Juicy Berry from Ulta. Um, I don't remember this scrub, so it probably didn't excite me. So I wouldn't repurchase. Next here is Soft Cotton from Ulta. Again, this one, again, didn't really excite me, but I do remember, I think I bought two of these, so I'm gonna use that one and I'll probably not repurchase. I'm not over the moon about these Ulta butters, I mean, scrubs. Um, There was the salted pineapple one, which did smell good, but still, I'm not like over the moon about it. Next here is the Honey Kiwi Scrub from Pink. This one's cute. I enjoyed it. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is my last one or if I have another one, but yeah, good for what it was. Um, for right now, I wouldn't repurchase it if I saw it. So there's that. I have another set of Black Girl Vitamins here. So already talked about those, so I'm just gonna move on. I have a couple fragrance mists because you know we love finishing a good fragrance mist. First one is from Victoria's Secret. This is Tea's Noir. I don't know how, probably 2016, super old finally got it done finally was intentional about it and i don't even know if this is ever coming back but i probably wouldn't repurchase next one here is mary mocha y'all i just did a layering video forgot to mention this but all of that like cookie butter a uh, coconut cream pie type of vibe i was also throwing this in the mix as well just so i can get it gone um i probably wouldn't repurchase if i saw this because pink mists are seem to be the hardest ones for me to put a dent in so yeah i don't tend to pay much attention to my pink products as i would like so yeah i probably won't repurchase and these pink mists if you if you know you know like they drown you like you spray two spritzes and like you're soaked so yeah next here is so de can i not talk so de janeiro's <sighs> next here is so de janeiro churros the number 71 gourmand lovers dream i love this i have a backup um and because i have that one that i've already started i don't have one after that so i might pick up one more just like so i have it on deck next here this is number 68 another scent i was thoroughly enjoying over the summer some of these might seem familiar to you if you've seen my show me your dents video because they were already running pretty low so glad i was able to finish them next here i have victoria's secrets nectar wave i don't cut these open because they're very thin almost i don't want to say runny 
but I feel like if I'm hearing air when I'm squeezing through this, I'm pretty sure I, I got a dog. So as much as I can get. Love the scent, okay? Thoroughly enjoy this scent. Um, I may or may not repurchase this if I see this. Um, Maybe not so much in the lotion form, but if I see this again in the mist, I might go that route because I'm trying to shave down the amount of moisturizers I have at this point. So yeah, but still love the scent. Next here, this is from Bodycology. It's Cozy Fireside S'more. So that's empty. Um, I don't love the Bodycology formulas for their lotions or creams. I feel like they never absorb into my skin so i'm not buying any more of these i just want to finish what i have next here is vanilla mocha cream empty y'all again thoroughly enjoy this this smells so good i'm not sure if i'll repurchase this though because while it does smell really good to me it's still kind of light and i feel like there's other coffee scents that come a little harder so yeah and I have a backup anyways. Next here is Starlit Night. It's It was already just <laughs> thrown into the bag like that. Um, cool for what it was. Would not repurchase. Um, and I couldn't find the mist to use with this. I know I have it somewhere, but I just haven't laid eyes on it. So at some point, I will find the mist and either use it or declutter it. Next here, I have this baby powder lotion from the lotion company. So it's just like baby powder. I have one more. I probably wouldn't repurchase because while I find that the lotion company, the lotions I have from them are fragrant, I find them be a little thin for me personally. Maybe they'll be better in like the spring or summer with them being a little thinner. But I don't think they give me the moisture I would like for it being cooler right now. Um... Next here is Tree Hut. This is the Moroccan Rose Body Butter. Um, I did the best I could, y'all. Okay. You see the nails. That's that's good as it's going to get. Okay. Enjoy the scent. Wouldn't repurchase. Next here is the Bonfire Bash Body Butter from Bath & Body Works. Yeah. Okay. Enjoyed it. Um, I do have one more of these. So, yeah. Thoroughly enjoy this scent. If I saw this again in the body butter form, I may or may not repurchase. Again, I'm trying to scale back on moisturizer, so I shouldn't keep thinking about adding more to the rotation. But it's not a bad one to have on the roster, okay? Next here, this is this June and Moon um, Sugar Scrub Cubes. Not a huge fan of these Sugar Scrub Cubes. Um, I found that out after I bought a few of these without using them. So I think this is it for the sugar scrub cubes I have, and I will not be buying anymore. Um, next here, this is Morning Dew Under Eye Jellies. I don't know what brand. It's from Spa Life. So I got these from Marshalls. This came in a six pack. So how I was using these um, on the days I work from home, the very few days I get now that I'm grateful for. <laughs> um. After I get out the shower, you know, I'm doing my routine. I will plot these like under my eyes, you know, as I go to log on. So while I get my computer started and I'm logging on, I'll have them on, you know, just for a few minutes and I take them off or I'll put them on while I go make some coffee or whatever, you know. So, um, I don't feel like I notice like a huge difference. They're, you know, relaxing, enjoying. So, I'm not opposed to repurchasing them, especially at four bucks, but I did buy like three or four different under eye things. So I don't need any right now. So at some point I might buy some more. We'll see. Next here, oh, this hurt my heart. <laughs> this is the Glow Recipe um, Niacinamide Dew Drops. Yeah. While I really enjoy these, they've been gone for almost two weeks at this point. Like I had it to the point where the bottle was upside down and I was literally in there scooping out every little last drop. But after going without these for two weeks and my skin doesn't seem to be uh, plummeting without them. So I'm leaning more towards it's a it's nice to have in my routine, but it doesn't seem like it's a necessity for me to have in my routine. So 
even though the Sephora sale is going on now, I'm probably not going to repurchase them. Um, I might put it on a, a Christmas wish list <laughs> and see if they'll be gifted, but I'm not going to like rush out to repurchase them. That's why I said I like to say. Um, next here, this is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. So this I also really like. It's a nice facial mist. It's kind of reminds me of the eucalyptus uh, aromatherapy. But it's still very refreshing. Again, after um, trying out the Evian facial mist, I'm not going to be repurchasing this either. So I'm going to finish the last little bit I have in the second bottle. And I'll be good on that. While it is, again, very nice, I have found a cheaper alternative. And it doesn't smell like aromatherapy. <laughs> Next here, this is another little mini tin from LV. This is in the scent Date Night. Um, let me see. Does this have a... I think Date Night is the one that smells like Amber Romance from Victoria's Secret. So if you like Amber Romance, there's a chance you'll like Date Night from LV. Um, highly recommend checking out like their minis, the little sample tins so that you can get an idea of what the scents smell like. But just know the butters are always going to be buttering from LV. I have a few room sprays here. This first one is Dream Bright hated it absolutely hated it it's i can't even i just didn't like it okay if i felt it felt like it was just not even felt, it was just getting on my nerves and i would never repurchase another dream bright room spray um next is strawberry snowflake is it strawberry snowflake or strawberry snowflakes anyways this one's cute i like it if i saw it i would probably repurchase um, but who knows? Uh, the last one here, this is Sun Drenched Linen. I think this is my favorite one. I absolutely love this in home care, home fragrance, top tier, would absolutely repurchase. Next here, I have this Coconut Vacay Wax Melt. I don't really remember what it smells like, so I would not repurchase. I've just had it forever and I'm trying to get rid of it. And the last two here, these are the Febreze things. One of them is ocean and one of them is like fresh linen. So um, I wouldn't repurchase. I just forgot to return the pack that I bought. So I just opted to use it. But yeah, I'm going to try the Airwicks and hopefully I remember that when I go to Target tomorrow because I got to read up on soap. But yeah, I think I'm going to try the Airwicks one and see how that goes. Um, next here I have a mini mouthwash. This is from Crest. So if you've been following me, you know, I did a little traveling over the summer. So I had a few of these little mini mouthwashes on hand. Um, next here, this is the Sephora Brow Pencil number 11. This is Ebony. Love this. Um, next here, this is my... Um, Delina fra uh, oil from Fragrant Body Oils. Absolutely love this. Love throwing this into my um, little combination with Delina and Donna. It's just it's chef's kiss. Next here. Next here, this is um, Island Breeze from Ulta. It's the little perfume spray. Really enjoy this. If you like the Sol de Janeiro scent, this is so good. I was absolutely layering this with the um, pistachio and with um, the Sol de Janeiro butter since I now like the scent again. I just apparently needed a break from it. I have a second one, so I don't need a new one now because we're going into the fall and winter, but I would potentially pick this up again if I saw it. And last but not least, y'all, this was actually not on my bingo card and I didn't know how low this fragrance was running because the bottle's opaque. Otherwise, it would have been in the Show Me Your Dents video. That is C. Fiori from Giorgio Armani. Like, I went to spray it and I was like, hold on. Like, nothing's coming out. I was shaking it. I was like, oh, she's empty. So, love emptying fragrances. Um, and I'm not sad because I actually have a big bottle of this right there. Because I saw it on sale at a great price. So I went and picked that up anyways, and I'm glad I did because I would have really been sad if this was empty because this is 
technically discontinued but you can kind of somewhat find it in some places i tell the same thing y'all but that is everything from this empties video what i've emptied out over the last few weeks i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you in my next video